Welcome everyone. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining this session. Today we are doing a vinyasa flow type of practice. So mainly it's allowing our bodies to flow with the breath, of course, pumping up blood and creating a little bit more agitation in the heart and uh, moving all of the joints. So we'll start with a little bit of a warm up, seated cross leg. If you cannot sit cross leg, you can always open the legs to the sides or add support like blankets, pillows, anything that you need. From here, we'll inhale and open the arms big and arch the spine, lifting the chin. With the exhale, right arm over the left, we give ourselves a hug and we round, meaning that the back is rounding, the belly is coming in and the chin is coming down. Then again, we inhale, opening. We exhale, left arm over the right one and we round again. We try to breathe through the nose at most times. Again, inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, lift, exhale. One more time, both sides. Inhaling, right arm on top, exhale. Inhaling, left arm on top, exhale. Good, from here we'll inhale again, sending the arms to the sides this time. And with the exhale, bring your right arm over to the left. Try and keep the elbow straight. Bring the left arm underneath and then bend the left elbow. We are going to pull the right arm over to the left side, but at the same time, we are going to invite the right forearm to push a little bit into the left forearm. So they are kind of fighting each other a little bit. When we do that, we are creating a big stretch in the upper um, shoulder, right? In the, in the upper back on the right side. Now, if you notice that your right shoulder goes up a lot, try and see if you can soften it down as you pull, right, the arm over to the left. So let's take a breath here. Exhaling through the nose. Then we inhale again to open and we switch sides. Exhaling, the left arm comes over to the right. We keep the elbow straight. We bring the right arm under and we bend the elbow, right? And now as we pull that left arm in, right, towards ourselves, we are also letting that left shoulder drop. And at the same time, the left forearm is pressing into the right one. So they are kind of fighting each other a little bit. Let's take the chin towards the center, right to the front and breathe in and out through the nose. Good, then we release that, we shake it a little. The last one we do, we switch the legs here so we don't have always the same one. So cross the opposite leg in front and now we put the left elbow down, the left forearm down and the hand. If the left, left elbow doesn't come all the way down to the floor, you can stay of course halfway and the arm can be straight, okay? We inhale, we send the right arm overhead, stretching the right side. Full breath here. And then as we start the next inhalation, we switch over to the second side. Feel that left side now opening up as you breathe. Good, let's go one more time, side to side, over to the first one. You can always look down so the neck doesn't become a little um, maybe tense. Sometimes when we look up, that happens. And then we switch over to the last side. Good, from there we come back, extend the legs, shake a little bit here. Good, and we transition from here into a tabletop, hands and knees. To give a little bit of space to the upper back and the shoulders, we are going to turn the finger pads a little bit out. So we are dialing the hands out away from one another towards the sides of your mat. And then from there, just swing a little bit side to side and a little bit back and forth before we move up into a downward facing dog. One more time. Good, then from there, keep the hands as they are, move the knees a few inches back, tuck your toes under and lift up into what we call the downward facing dog. This is an inverted V shape. It's a mild inversion in the body, but it's a really nice way to create length in the spine. So for that to happen, 
we want to push with the hands down firmly, firm also your arms, bringing the elbows a little bit into one another. And imagine your hip creases are moving up towards your sitting bones. So you're really trying to, um, I'm going to say, deepen the crease of your hips as much as you can. Okay, drop the head. You can even bring the chin. This is just a modification for today, but you can bring the chin a little bit in towards the chest, which will help you lengthen the back of the neck a little more. Good, and then to add a little more to this warm up, we'll inhale, we'll come into the top of a push up. We call it a plank. And then we exhale, we go back to down dog. Again, we inhale, heels high over the toes, and then we come to the plank, exhaling back to down dog. Tone the tops of your thighs, okay? Again, inhaling to plank, and then exhaling to down dog. Good, from here today, we are going to bring the heels together and lift the heels over the toes a lot. So as high as you can, then push again your hip creases up and back, Bring the front ribs in, bring the right leg up and back. Then bring the knee towards your chest. And as you get there, push the floor so you can round the upper back a little more. Then again, inhale, right leg up and back. Knee to chest one more time. Last one, we inhale, right leg up. This time with the exhale, the right knee goes towards the left elbow and we lift a little higher. So we are twisting. And then again, inhaling, right leg up and back. This time, right foot comes forward. In between the hands, we are coming into a lunge. Firm the legs there, lengthen through the spine and drop your tail. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, then from there, put your hands down again, plank pose. Exhaling, we move all the way down to the mat. You can always use your knees if you need to come down. Pressing with the tops of the feet down, we inhale into a cobra. We exhale. We tuck the toes and we go back to down dog. Breathe in. And if you can, you exhale through the nose. We'll add the second side, inhaling the left leg up. Exhaling knee to chest. Pushing the floor, we lift a little higher through the upper back. Inhale again, left leg up, exhale, knee to chest, push. Inhale last time. Exhale now, left knee to right elbow, a little bit of a twist and we lift a little higher. Inhale, left leg up and back. And this time, left foot forward in between the hands. We are coming just into a lunging position. We are firming the hips, pushing through the back heel. Lengthening the spine, inhale, exhale. Then place the hands down, make space hollowing your belly so you can send that left leg back into plank again. Lower, we inhale, creating a little bit of an arch, tailbone in, exhale, release. Tuck the toes and we go up to down dog. Two full ujjayi breaths. That means that we bring through the nose as much as possible in and out. Keep sending hip creases up, tailbone lifting, lifting, and then we bend the knees. Hollow the belly, look forward. Step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat and find the standing forward fold. Release the neck, let go of the head. Press through the heels, sweep all the way up. And then exhale, hands to the heart. And we'll release and start from here with some vinyasa practice more and more, okay? Let's go, inhaling, arms up overhead. Exhaling to a fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhaling, we touch down, we send the left leg back into a lounge. Next inhalation, we come up, high crescent. Next exhale, we go to down dog. 
Inhaling, we take the top of the push-up and the exhale brings us down. Try and follow your breath. If you need more length of breath or if you need to go slower, go slower. Exhale, release. Down dog. Inhaling, right leg goes up. Exhaling, right foot goes forward. We are still again in a lunge with the right foot in front. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, reach forward with the left foot, take a fall. Inhale, lengthen the breath as you come halfway up. Exhale, release. Pressing through the heels, we inhale, we come up. And we find that center again. One more breath. And we release. Good. We'll start the second side. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, we find that fold, hollowing the belly. Inhaling, tone the inner thighs and then back as you open the chest. Exhale, this time send your right leg back into a lunge. Firm the inner legs, inhale, come up. Exhale to down dog. Inhaling, plank. Exhaling all the way down. Take your time. Tailbone in, fire your glutes to come into a cobra. Exhaling, we release. Tuck your toes, we go back to down dog. Inhaling, left leg goes up. Exhaling, left foot forward in between the hands. Drop the tailbone, lengthen the spine. Let's inhale, come up. And exhale, bringing the right foot to the top, we fold. Knees are soft, we inhale, lengthening the sides of the body. We exhale, letting go, press through the heels, return, hands to heart. One more breath here. And as we release the arms, we take a moment to pause and feel the heartbeat, the breath, the sensations in the body that may be showing up after the movement and the engagement of the whole body. Good, beautiful. Let's do a second sequence here. So we change a little bit of some things around. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, we fold again. Lengthen as you inhale. Exhale, left leg goes back, left knee comes down this time. Good, dropping the tailbone, we come up, inhaling. With the exhale, we pull the left forearm or wrist over to the right as we drop the right hip. Keep the chest facing forward, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands to heart, and we twist over to the right. So the left elbow is hooked into the right leg. We push one into the other so we can lift the spine and expand the chest. Optional here, with your next inhalation, lift your left knee off the floor. Breathe. Another option, extending arms away from one another. We need to really squeeze through the inner legs and push that back heel down. Then we come back to center. Face forward, touch down, down dog. Inhaling plank. Exhaling, we come down. This time I'm switching, instead of cobra, we send the arms back. If you can, you interlace your hands, pull the shoulder blades down your back, and inhale and lift as you press the pubic bone down. Exhaling, we release, and we go back to down dog. Inhaling, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Last part. <laughs> Inhaling, we reach up. This time we let the tailbone drop and the pelvis move forward as we open the chest. 
We exhale, we bring the left foot forward and fold. Inhaling, draw the navel up. Exhale, let go. Breathe in, we come up. Exhale, let's take that pause. Beautiful, second side. Let's tone the legs, inhaling, we go up. Exhaling. Lengthen and expand your collarbones. Exhale, send the right leg back, right knee comes down. We inhale, we reach up. In this one, instead of pushing the pelvis forward, I don't know if you can see, but I'm more vertical. So the tailbone moves down, the navel goes back and we reach up. Then we'll hold the right wrist with the left hand, we pull and bring that right side over to the left. Full breath here. Good, then bring the torso back to center and the hands are coming towards the heart. Taking the right elbow to the left, we find that twist. Push the palms into one another so you can lift the spine and lengthen it. Drop the tailbone, expand the chest and reach up through the crown of your head. From there, optional if you want, you lift your right knee off the floor and you push that right heel back as you keep squeezing the belly towards the left. Good, another option here to extend the arms away from one another. And then we come back, hands together, back towards the center, touch down, down dog. Inhaling plank, exhale, coming down. Inhaling again, we interlace fingers and we try to find that lift through the chest and the chin, lifting perhaps the legs as well. Push the pubic bone down and bring the tailbone in. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes, down dog. Inhaling, left leg up. Exhaling, left foot forward, right knee down. This time as we inhale, we let the pelvis move forward. We are arching more, opening the heart center. With the exhale, we touch down and we return to the top of the mat. Inhaling. Exhale. Breathe in, come all the way up. Exhaling, hands to heart. Take another breath to settle. And then release. Beautiful, let's shake it a little. We have a little bit of time left to add another sequence and move different in different ways, okay? So with the feet together, press into the heels, Press into the balls of your feet, lift your inner arches. We are going to inhale, send the arms up overhead. This time with the exhale, we find what we call the chair shape. It's really called Utkatasana, but we call it the chair shape. Tailbone moves down, navel goes in and we open the chest. Beautiful, let's bring the, the arms to be parallel to the floor with the palms facing down. And let's play a little bit. See if you can lift your heels really high. Sit a little deeper, keep the heels high, take another breath. Release the heels, inhale all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, press the palms down, walk back to plank and keep going down. Cobra or up dog, meaning that you can go a little higher if you want. Exhale to down dog. From here, we'll inhale right leg up. And exhale, bringing the right foot in between the hands. Take the left heel in and down. Good. And from here, straighten the front leg. Push both heels down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Draw the navel up and then fold over the front leg. 
If folding is not an option for you, you can put support like the blocks I'm showing to frame that front leg and you stay a little bit more upright, okay? Breathing here. If you are folding, take a couple of breaths. Good, then from there, we'll bend the front knee, firm the right hip into your body, and then come up, warrior one. Good, push into that back leg, open the chest. Exhale, down dog. From here, we are going to switch sides. So inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot forward in between the hands. Bring the right heel to the left and turn the foot down. Okay, if you want again, you grab your blocks. If you don't need, you don't need. And from there, we push through the left heel to straighten the left leg. Now from here, you want to tuck that left hip into the midline, lengthen the trunk, firm through the right leg a lot. So that leg is super steady, same as the left one. And then we lengthen the spine and you choose if you're folding a little more. Good, we're almost at the end. We bend the front knee, we tuck the left hip in. When you already lengthen the spine and come up warrior one. So both legs steady, even though one is bent and the other one is straight. Drop your tail, open the chest and exhale to down dog. Good. From down dog, inhaling plank, last one. Exhale, come down. Inhale, shoulder blades are connecting into the back of your heart. Exhale to down dog. Inhale here. Then exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hollow that belly, hop, step or jump to find the last fold. Good. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find that chair again that we did in the beginning. Exhale, sit a little deeper. Inhaling, we go all the way up. And exhaling, here we are back at the center, taking a moment to reset and find the breath. Watch the inhale. Lengthen your exhale. Nice. Okay, from here, I'm moving a little bit backwards so you can see me more centered. We are going to open the legs a little uh, wider than the hips with the toes pointing out. And if you have the ability to start moving from there into a squat, Bend your knees. You can always put your hands down. You can also keep the palms in front of you. Let the pelvis drop. Let the sitting bones feel heavy. Navel is moving back and the tailbone is lengthening down. Take a couple of breaths. And then slowly we use our hands to come all the way down. Good, we have the legs in front. We are coming onto our backs, hugging the knees in and walking a little bit side to side or in circles. Good, quick vinyasa practice to warm up the whole body, to breathe, to pump blood all over our systems. And before we end, we are going to extend the legs up Catching the shins if you can, keeping the legs straight. And we're going to play a little bit coming forward and backwards. So I'm going to lean back a little and then try and come a little bit up, back and up. Trying to balance a little bit like a boat. <laughs> One more. And then when you come back into your back, hug both knees in again. Keep your right knee with you, extend the left leg out. And then with the left hand, invite that right knee to come over to the left for a twist. 
You can extend your right arm to the right and look over to the right. You don't need to push that right knee very hard, just gently bringing it towards the other side, relaxing the face and the head into the floor, breathing and out through the nose. And we slowly start our way back to the center. Bend the left knee, extend your right leg, and bring that knee towards the chest. With your right hand, start that journey of bringing the left leg over to the right. Any amount, you don't need to yank it or be aggressive. Left arm goes to the side. You can have it into a cactus shape, extended, or even overhead, the one that feels best, looking over to the left, a few breaths. Nice, slowly returning with the head, bringing the pelvis back towards the center of your mat. Reset the hips if you need. Soles of the feet together, knees wide, and hands onto your lower abdomen. So use these last couple of minutes to reset the whole body. And as we come into this shape that makes us be more still, of course, if you need to modify the shape in any way you do, if you need to add a support, you can do that, of course, as well. If you can soften your eyelids, that will help also softening your mind, your nervous system. And breathe in a soft, fluid manner to help with resetting your whole system in equanimity. Maybe you can listen to the sound of your own breath and follow the pathway. A few more times, relax the shoulders, the torso, the pelvis. Feel held. And let this moment be a moment of consolidating the whole physical practice into your body, your mind, heart, and soul. A few more breaths before we change this shape. And at the end of your next exhale, invite your palms to support the way back of the legs towards the midline. Then you extend one arm overhead and you roll over to the side. When you roll to the side, let the chest and the belly come towards the floor a little more, even the head as well, just for a moment there. Relax your jawline, relax your face, and then slowly start pressing to find your way back to a seat. Cross your legs for a moment, bring the hands into the heart center, sit tall, and we'll take a moment here to observe physical sensations that may arise after the practice, the pace of your breath, after this short rest. And the opportunity to set an intention for the rest of your day. That intention may be something that you need today. And when we set an intention, it's a really helpful tool to guide the way we want to navigate our day right, or the rest of the day. So you can use that as a guidance, as an anchor 
anchoring tool whenever you feel a little agitated or surpassed by challenges in the day. Thank you very much for joining this Vinyasa Flow practice today. I hope to see you next week. Namaste, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. See you around.